Hello, this is Calvin from Pixelaria Studios, and today we're going to be learning how to do volumetric lighting in Blender. Volumetric lighting is where it appears that you have light rays that are passing through fog or mist or something like that, and you get some really cool lighting effects with it, such as in this picture where you've got these light rays coming into this sort of prison cell thing, and it just gives a really dramatic effect. So go ahead and, and start up Blender. I'm just going to use the standard box that they give you here at the beginning. So I'm going to tab into edit mode, click A to deselect, then control tab, and let's choose face. Highlight the face. We're going to delete this face that's closest to us. And now alt tab again, let's go into vertex mode, select by pressing A. And then we're going to subdivide a couple of times. Great. Select A, A D to deselect. Now I'm going to tab, control tab again, go into face select mode. Select this face here and delete the face. Okay. Tab out of edit mode. And now I'm also going to add something else to this. I'm going to add a modifier to this. Go and add solidify. And then we're going to Increase the thickness, not too much, and then we want an even thickness, okay? I'm going to tab back into edit mode, Control tab, we're going to select uh, vertices mode. I'm pressing 5 on my number pad to take us into orthographic view, and then 1 gives me a nice side view here. Press B to select these vertices, and then we're just going to stretch them out. Oops. Okay, let's go back. We need to be able to select all of these vertices. So, there we go. And then let's go ahead and expand that out. Great. And then tab out of edit mode. Okay, now I want to see the view for my camera. So, I'm going to press 0 to select camera view. And now to move my camera, I'm going to lock camera to view. And then that's going to allow me to move my camera as, as, as I'm changing my view. It's going to also change the, the camera's view. So I'm going to move in here a little bit. And what I want to do is be able to see the floor and also to be able to see the window. Shift F puts me in the flyover mode so I can sort of pan the camera slightly. I kind of like the way that works. Great. And that's a pretty good view. And now I'm going to unlock the camera to view because I don't want the camera to move now. I like kind of what I have here. All right. And I'm going to select the light that comes with it and I'm going to delete that. And now by hitting Shift A, I'm going to add a lamp. And this one's going to be a spot. All right. Press 1 to give me a side view. All right. I'm going to R rotate. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to have this be a little lower. All right, so RY. I can see a little better what that's doing. I'm going to bring that down just. Just a little more. All right. I'm also going to move it over here, and I'm going to have, I'm going to click num uh, 7 to give me a top view. Then rotate the camera. So I get a little bit of an angle on that light coming down, so it's not just coming down straight through, but it's got a little bit of an angle. And I'll go a little more with that. Okay. Alright. Okay, now with the spotlight set just as it is, this is the typical spotlight that you get with all the, the normal settings in Blender. I'm going to go ahead and hit F12 to render, so we can kind of see what that looks like. And we can't see any light coming through. All we're getting is this sort of hard edge square down here at the bottom showing us that the light is coming through. Um, and what we want to do is fill this in as if there's a bunch of mist or fog in this room and this, that these light beams are passing through in order to create this, this great lighting effect. Um, before we do that, I am going to add one more small point light in here. Okay, and it's kind of right in the middle there. I like that. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit this way. And I really don't want this light to be very powerful, so I'm going to give it 0.05 as far as the power of the light. Let me hit F12 again and just see. 
just gives us a little bit of light in this room. In fact, I might even go a little bit less with that. 03, nice and dark. Okay, so now in order to get volumetric lighting, we have to make changes to the spotlight. And so by going into the control panel over here on the right for the spotlight, there's a few changes that we're going to make. Number one is I like to see the cone. So I'm going to go down here to show cone um, and select that. I want to be able to see. And I got the best results when I was practicing this by going ahead and changing the shape of the spotlight to a square. And then I'm going to bring the size way down. And so I got the best results by trying to make the, about the size of the spotlight about the size of the window and have it sort of try to be about dead on there. So let's see if I can play around with it and get it to, to match the shape of the window there. Looks like I'm going to have to, to rotate uh, the Z a little bit, the Z axis. All right, so we're just going to change the shape. We're going to change the size, get the size just a little smaller. Try to make it about the size of that window there. Okay. And now, I'd like it to look like it's nighttime, so I'm going to make it sort of a bluish light, bluish outdoor light. And I'm going to bring the, the energy way down to 0.4. And then I'm going to change the fall off so it's constant. And then you can see that that gives it a little bit of a brighter um, spot where, where the light actually hits the ground. And then I'm going to move down. You want to make sure it's on buffer shadow and make sure it's on classic half. The filter type is a box and sample buffers. I'm going to change this to four. Now, a lot of the things that I'm, I'm changing right now are things you'll want to play around with later to get the light just the way that you want. Um, I'm going to up my samples to 10. All of this ends up giving a much better effect. And then I, I just clipped these. All right. Now the real trick to volumetric lighting in Blender is to click this halo right here. And you can see up in the preview box here that it suddenly allows you to see the, the light beams. All right. I'm also going to turn down the intensity down here to 0.4. And the only reason I know to do that is because I just got a better result that way when I, when I was practicing this tutorial. And so these are these all these little settings are things you're going to have to play around with on your own and 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 just continue doing test renders in order to see how how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and hit F12 now and there we go. We've got we've got light beams that are coming through this window that we can visibly see. Now this little lighting affectation down here, this has to do with the shape of the spotlight coming in not matching the window exactly and I'm not sure why some of the light spills through. Um, but let's see if we can get rid of that a little bit by repositioning. Hit F12 again. Okay, it got rid of it. Anyway, so that looks pretty good. I'll probably actually make it just a little bit bigger. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, it gives us a little bit of that affectation. So let's try 11. A little bit there. Uh, I'm going to rotate it on the Y axis just to bring it down a little bit. Click Shift just so it moves slightly. And then let's take a look at that. It's still there. Okay. There, got rid of it. All right, now that looks pretty good. And that is volumetric lighting. Remember that the real trick is this halo button down here. And then all of the different settings, you can sort of change them to see how it looks. But this is creating volumetric lighting in Blender. You use a spotlight and you click on this halo here and then that's what gives it to you. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.